Hey Capricorns, welcome to your reading for the second half of July. I can't believe I've just posted the July readings and we're already getting to the end of July. So we're going from the 15th till the end of July. I think my deck is reversed in my hands. So yeah, don't worry about that. We'll see. We'll see. Let's see if it's reversed. We don't want all these reversals. Yep, <laughs> it's reversed. So um, let's have a look, Capricorns. If you're new, welcome. Please remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get all the messages I post each month. And to my lovely, loyal subscribers, welcome back. I'll leave information on how to contact me for my services and private readings in the description box. So we have the Hermit here um, and the Chariot Triumph. Um, so I guess it, although it's tough, this journey is tough and, you know, the part where you're on your own is very tough. It can feel like you're suffering all alone here um, or your soulmate is. We know these readings can go either way. So it might be what your soulmate is feeling about you. If it doesn't resonate, there's plenty more readings on the channel that I've posted with lots of different messages. OK, guys. OK, so. It feels like this journey has been long, hard, maybe insufferable at times. I guess doing the spiritual work here while things on the outside world seem to be like going bad as well. Um, it kind of feels like you know and you're willing to work hard. You know that with hard work comes this success, this triumph here. Um, so you're following your destiny here. You're on the right track, okay? The nines indicate that your angels are with you. They are saying to you, look, if you need support, call out for support. You don't need to suffer alone. Um, at times when, you know, it kind of feels like we're most alone, you're being supported, okay? So just please do remember that you're being supported during this time, even though it feels like you're so alone, okay, Capricorns? And that's the Nine of Swords, that Suffering in Silence card. Um, it can feel like, you know, while we're coming through out of the watery energy, it may have felt like quite a turbulent time for you, that things wasn't um, so great, even though you was doing the work. Um, the angels and your spirit guides are telling you here, um, it's not always going to be easy, but you're always going to be supported. Queen of Swords, that's you learning your lesson on, on your ascension path here. The death card reversed. Um, okay, so for somebody who... If this is your soulmate being called towards you after ending it, um, it seems like they didn't want it over with you. Um, they are, they just, it's like ego. They're in their own way here. But it feels like you've learned healthy boundaries through, you know, these troubled times, through um, struggling on your own. You know how to be strong on your own. That's the Queen of Swords energy. Um, you know how to be independent and have healthy boundaries so you're not going to let somebody just walk all over you or just breeze back into your life if they definitely haven't done the work. You've been through the dark night of the soul here with the hermit. You've done the soul searching. You faced, you know, um, challenges on your own. You faced challenges that weren't even your challenges here, I feel. But this person might be refusing to transform and this is why maybe they haven't come towards you because they're on they drive a fuel their ego whereas you did the spiritual work you're ascending and of course cross watchers this could be you that you know as feels this way about capricorn that they haven't done the work so they if they come to you it's like they need to come correct because you're ready you're prepared um, you have healthy boundaries in place. You've spiritually ascended here. So you're not just going to be, you know, accepting anything and anyone. And that goes for new people in your life as well. You've really put in some hard work here and you've really been through some challenges on your own and a, a huge struggle that um, there's no way you want to go down that path of hurt and, um, I guess, heartbreak again. 
when you know now you can prevent it. You know that I, if I see red flags immediately, I'm going to be cutting them off. I don't care if people think I'm cold. I just won't entertain somebody who's not coming correct here. Eight of Wands. So this is um, Cupid shooting his arrows and the blockage is being removed uh, from a soulmate coming towards you because you've done the work, right? So some people, if you've just gone through this ending with the death card here, it could indicate that you might want to talk to somebody and they are being cold towards you. So you're suffering and keeping all this in, inside. The answers are within you, if that's the case, okay? Um, the closure you might be looking outside for and not getting uh, from another person uh, because they're being quite cold and distant towards you here. Um it can even be this Scorpio ghosted you or this air or fire sign ghosted you here and um, they just never wanted to give you a clear answer. And that's because of their own ego. It's I feel like they're quite stuck on you here. Um, they said they wanted it over and wouldn't tell you their real thoughts or feelings because that would expose themselves. So know that this was more about their own insecurities than it ever was about anything about you. So if you're looking for what did I do wrong or why did they do this or why did they do that, it's not anything about you. And while you were searching for those answers, you know, you went into hermit mode and you found your, I guess, spirituality here, um, your answers it's not about you. You need to love yourself. You need to have healthy boundaries in place. All of us as humans are here for an, a learning experience. And this person is refusing to learn. They may even contact you, actually. Ten of Swords. This was like the worst betrayal, I feel, because I feel you you absolutely, with this Nine of Swords, moving to the Ten of Swords, you absolutely loved them, but it was absolutely maybe an unforgivable betrayal for you here that um, maybe you won't accept somebody like this back because, you know, it may have been beautiful what you had, but you know, um, how can you come back from this, right? The Ten of Swords, you're practically dead. You've got so many knives in your back. This hurts so much. It is an end of a cycle and the Ten of Swords is the resolution to difficult times. So we see you with the Sevens going through this challenging time alone, but it is coming to an end here. The blockages are being removed. The delays are going to be over. You've done the inner work. Seven of Wands. So these challenges, I guess, um, where you had to stand up for yourself and um, like I said, do it alone here. It definitely feels, it might have felt like it all came at once for some of you, okay? Um, like you went through a breakup with a romantic partner, then issues started to be brought to the forefront by uh, family members, by friends, by your job. All of these things may have seemed to be not serving you anymore. Um, you know, so it all seemed to happen at once. And I guess this is all the swords in your back here. Um, the downfall here. I guess the downfall of you was for you to be rebuilt into this stronger, more knowledgeable person. So everything happens for a reason, of course. Look at this. These seeds that have been planted, the new you is growing from all this that happened. I mean, look where you started here with the Ten of Swords and look where you are now with the Princess of Pentacles, learning new things. Um, maybe looking at things differently, seeing the whole world differently um, because of this challenge that you experienced. It wasn't a small one and you had to do it alone or at, le at least felt all alone. Um, we are going to see some positive movement forward for you now. Uh, that fiery energy as we come into the second half of July will bring movement if you like um say if you've been waiting for things to happen and you've been doing the work and then you're like well I kind of feel stuck still this is movement that's coming in for you here you've planted the seeds um now we I feel like we're going to start to see them grow in Leo season for you eight of cups um whoever it was that did this to you they want to uh let you know actually that they regret doing it they they did have a lot of feelings for you they did love you so if some if you ever felt like you know, I'm not even sure if they ever loved me. The message they want to send to you is they did love you here. They regret walking away. They regret what they did. 
it was like too cowardly to face this uh, seven of wands, to face somebody, the betrayal, their own actions. Um, it was just easier to walk away and leave here. They could have even left you a child behind here as well. Ace of Cups. Um, so you have renewed your love for yourself. You may be experiencing even um, psychic abilities here. So it may be that this brought you onto your spiritual path as well with the hermit up here. It's saying needing a spiritual mentor or becoming a spiritual mentor, maybe even sharing your story um, in some sort of way here um, is how you help uh, other people in the world. So you might have gone even back to education, like I want to help people through traumas or through a book or writing a blog or a vlog, um, that sort of thing. It seems to be a new passion or a new calling of yours. Let's see, the Empress, it will bring you a lot of fertility. So where you put your focus now will grow with the eight of wands, like I said, coming towards the end of July, it will really start to flourish now, whatever it is you have put this knowledge into your attention into. Being the empress energy, you will draw people in. That's also the eight of wands, okay? So I wouldn't be surprised if you're drawing in love offers. It might not, it might be that you're not interested in them yet, but you might be if they're worthy, because we spoke about up here coming to you correct because you seem more focused now on following your destined path here. Um, but love is presented here. So there's an opportunity for a love offer to come your way here. Five of Pentacles. Like I said, some of you might just not be one in love just yet. You might be rejecting uh, people. So this can be the Five of Pentacles. Others of you, if you're starting a new job following your passion or your calling here or going back to school, you might be worried about, you know, if I go back to learning something, I'll struggle for money. It's saying, look, um, there will be challenges along the way, but if you spend and save wisely, you can do this, okay? Um, a lot of the times people think like I'm not going to try something new because I have rent to pay and I have kids to feed and I have this and that, you know, a family to support. Um, somebody might even be getting pregnant at this time as well who felt like they couldn't get pregnant. So they might be of um, an older age than if you thought you can't get pregnant for whatever reason. Maybe some feel like medically they can't get pregnant with the Queen of Swords because that's somebody with knowledge. But somebody may even get pregnant here that isn't expecting to. Um, so let's see. Romantic feelings, your feelings are real and worth exploring. So right now, your feelings for other people aren't really there. So it might be like if you're going through a breakup, um, you're hurt and your feelings are being redirected to loving yourself. Um, and you should be on that path, okay? So there's nothing wrong with, uh, you know, not having feelings for a romantic person right now. You might have not met somebody, right? We can be single out here. A lot of people forget the advantages and the pleasures of being single. You can watch whatever you want to watch on TV. <laughs> Let go of control issues. This situation is allowing you to, sorry, allow this situation to unfold naturally. What was I even going to say then? That's like when I channel, it's very hard for me to read. Um, passion here. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Um, so just being you, you will attract the right people towards you here. Um, I feel like some of you, you really need to be able to, um, let go and let God, especially if you're going through this new breakup, um, just let go and let God, It'll, it's like going with the flow rather than against the flow, rather than fighting the flow. You won't feel so much challenged. Okay. And true love reverse. Some of you are a bit tainted on love at the moment but that's okay as i said that i seen the clock uh one four one four so um maybe search that number and see what the meaning is or if you're seeing these numbers and signs uh look for their meanings your angels with these nines are trying to get a message to you okay might be a message of encouragement to keep going not to give up um you'll all be seeing different things so remember, I leave my information for my services and personal readings in the description box, guys. Good luck.